Here we are heading to our, our biochar factory. And this wood's been in there for about, this top batch of wood's been there for a couple hours, maybe an hour. It's still not qualified as barry. It's too, not, not cooked enough yet. But on the right side, we're getting it where it's cooked pretty nicely. But so we'll give this a little more time. We'll give this a little more time to cook and break down. Maybe in an hour or so. And uh, here's some char I took out before. I filled the wheelbarrow with cold with water and just put in shovelfuls of char. And there it is, beautiful stuff. Right now it's not biochar, you've got to inoculate it. You've got to mix some different things with it, like uh, worm castings perhaps. Here's what you can do if you want. You can move some of this to the side. Chop it up. You do have some biochar here that's ready to go. Watch, I'll get my bigger shovel. Get a little of this charcoal out and put it in there. Get some more out of there. And put it in there. And then what you can do is go like so. Push it under. Be sure it's all doused with water and it's out. Not cooking anymore. Back over here again. Get our couple more scoops out. This way it doesn't go to too much ash. You actually save by doing this. Some people wait for the thing to totally, uh, totally, uh, Go down and then fill the whole bucket with water. But I think a lot of this good stuff you lose. So I'd sooner just uh, get this out now. So I know we got some good biochar here. And then again, put it in there. Totally uh, cool off, then dump it out and refill the wheelbarrow for the next batch. Ideally, one eighth to a quarter inch. Again, not can, this can't be broken up yet, so it's not quite the charcoal stage. See it? When you can't break it with a shovel, it's not there yet. Fire is definitely hot. But again, this won't break with a shovel. I won't add any more tonight. Actually, I could if I want to. I go to my wood pile here and grab a little more. I got a couple hours of daylight left. So I'll throw a few more of these in here. In my last load. It's, uh, what time is it now? It's about 4 o'clock. We'll give it a couple hours, come out about 5 Okay. Here we're in our last batch of biochar. It should be about an hour or two before this stuff gets cooking enough on its side. When you can hit it, it doesn't break. It's got a long way to go. When it's ready for biochar, it breaks up. That's step one. Now step two, I put it from the fire 
need to hear, and it kind of chopped up a little bit. This is water. I fill up with cold water from the outside garden hose. And I'm going to dump that in this blue bucket back here. You can get on this side to get a little better view. Hit stop. Battery saving one. Red button. And this is uh this bucket's got a small hole in it, which is good. I'm afraid to touch it might be pretty hot yet. You shouldn't have it in there then, it's melted. Not hot yet. Still got water in it, but the water will get close up with this. Come real close so you get real close up. The water will run off because this peel has a small leak in it. I'm gonna dump a little more of this in if I can. Let's see if I can fit all in there. That was our first load of biochar. The char. It's not biochar until we're not getting it. And that's going to happen. But that's our first load of biochar. From the fire to the wheelbarrow, full of water to that. So, what I'll do now is I'll just uh, have to come out in a couple hours, see how this is working. Let this just burn and char all the way through for a while. Looking pretty good right now, but it's got a couple hours to go. And I'll fill that with water, so I'm ready to put the last next batch and it works out. That's all there is to it.